Today we're going to be talking about bulletproofing cars for the middle class people. Aw oh, crap. Jeff's not bulletproof, and he never will be. Brazil, who has the world's sixth largest economy, is trying to provide bulletproof material for their cars, the middle class people, so that they can counteract the high crime rates. This car kit, which only costs $12,000, a reasonable price for bulletproof material, includes Kevlar fiber and bulletproof glass. It's only available in Brazil, but plans to branch out to two other countries. <clears throat> a recent study might be able to predict you'll gain weight in the future. Jeffrey, do you like this photo? No, they're gross! How do you get on my green bubble? Recently, a new study might be able to predict weight gain and sexual activity using an fMRI. Researchers looked at the reward center of the brain while subjects viewed images of food, scenery, and much more. They looked back at the results six months later and the people whose brain reward center was firing off for the food found that they gained weight later on. Not only was there a strong correlation between weight gain and the reward center's responses to images of food, but also a strong correlation between sexual activity and the reward center's responses to sexual images. This correlation could, and I emphasize could, be used to predict weight gain and sexual activity in the future. Correlation is not causation. Thank you, psychology. Ever wanted to look through walls like a boss? Check it out. That may be possible with the use of a new imager chip while looking through a different part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This could be incorporated into your very own mobile device. Technology like this is being tested by researchers at UT Dallas using tetrahertz, a wavelength of energy found between microwaves used for appliances and infrared used for night vision. It's said to become more commercialized because of the fact that they can use tetrahertz without the need of several lenses. This will reduce the cost and they can use chips that are found in smartphones, TVs, and game consoles. With privacy concerns obviously being at stake, they're only focusing on about a four inch distance. Typical tasks this could be used for is determining if a bill is counterfeit, finding studs in the wall, and touchers could be used for communication channels that are broader, allowing information to travel much quicker. Do you think this form of technology should be restricted? If so, what restrictions? Let us know in the comment section below. The last story of the day, we're gonna talk about the Los Angeles Times. They released photos of soldiers from Afghanistan, the 82nd Airborne Division, that was desecrating the bodies of suicide bombers, insurgents, and rebels. Like we need another blow to the military's image after US soldiers have urinated on bodies, burned Korans, and most recently, one soldier has gone out and killed 17 innocent civilians. These photos were taken in 2010, and they were recently released to the Los Angeles Times by an unnamed soldier that was in the 82nd Airborne Division. The reason why he released them to Los Angeles Times is because he believed that there was a breakdown in leadership and discipline that compromised the safety of the troops. The Pentagon urged the Los Angeles Times not to post these pictures after the Koran burning riot which killed 30 Afghans and 6 Americans. President Obama stated that it will definitely be investigated and those responsible will definitely be held accountable. Now for my rant. When I first read this article, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Really? Another public embarrassment from our military? If they didn't know this, they represent our entire country while being over there. And these photos make you and I look like disrespectful assholes. If troops don't have the mindset and training to be diligent and respectful, they shouldn't be over there fighting for us in the first place. Why are we over in Afghanistan again? To humiliate ourselves and defile the deceased and the living? Sure, it's a small group of individuals, but it puts a label on our forehead for other countries to see. They don't see what's going on inside of our country. They see what we're doing outside of our country, in their country. And that will do it for our last video today. Don't forget to like our video. And hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time on The Breakdown. Peace! Do we want to be gay?